Now before we even start this video today guys, I want to point out something, and that is that this album has been falsely advertised. As you can see, the album name is OMG Ronnie, which is Ronnie J's main producer tag, right? Nothing seems amiss there, everything seems fine, no suspicions, right? However, in one of the tracks, he doesn't use that producer tag. He uses his Ronnie J, listen up, beat tag. What the hell is going on? What is that? I thought this was the OMG Ronnie mixtape, not the different Ronnie J producer tags mixtape! That skip probably wasn't worth it. I'm so sweaty now before we even start the video. So, Ronnie J, OMG Ronnie, is it good? Today I'm going to be answering that. Is Ronnie J's newest album good? This is CDTV Productions, and let's talk about it. Now, one thing that I do respect on here is that Ronnie J didn't only produce every track, he also actually tried his hand at rapping on around five of the songs here. And let me just say, no matter what, I respect that. When someone handles more than one aspect of their music, I think that is admirable because they are putting more of the workload on themselves instead of letting someone else do it. However, I do have to say, his rapping harbored some less than favorable results. One of my least favorite tracks on the album, Oshi, is a Ronnie J solo track, and let's just say the vocals really aren't great on it. The tone he's delivering the vocals in just doesn't sound suited to the beat, so it results in this really unappealing sound. It's almost kind of like they're in two different keys. Then on the opening track, Thriller, Ronnie's vocals are mixed in this way that just makes them sound really reverby, and that isn't great either. Although, I would be lying if I said he did bad on every single track he rapped on here because that is not true. On the flip side of it, one of my favourite tracks from the album called 824 was another complete solo track from Ronnie. Even though Ronnie's lyrics are incredibly simplistic, he has a very nice sense of melody on this song, which I guess makes sense because he is a producer, right? This can also be seen on the song Costa Rica, where he provides a very catchy hook in my opinion. He has a lot of work to do to become a bearable rapper, but he does have some moments on here that are nice. Now let's talk about the guest features because they are almost as important as Ronnie is on this album. Being an album from someone that's mainly a producer, it has a lot of guest appearances. I think there's around 10 different features on this project. And overall, I feel kind of mixed about all these features. Smoke Perp, who is a rapper I actually enjoy in some instances, just came with an incredibly average hook and verse here. I, I mean, this sounds like it could be any one of his random SoundCloud singles produced by Ronnie. It's nothing special or out of the ordinary. We also have Fat Nick, who gives a nice enough performance, but he has this high-pitched vocal in the background of the hook for his song Fiji Island, and it's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> then we have Danny Towers, who, no offense to him, just sounds hilarious to me. This man sounds like a drill sergeant out of a cartoon or something. It genuinely made me laugh when he just burst into the track. I'd have to say, my favorite guest appearances on here were by Ski Mask the Slump God and Denzel Curry, who appeared on two tracks each. Now Ski's verse on Thriller was quite nice, but it came off to me as kind of weird that he actually recycled some bars from a song he did earlier with Polari called Creeping. I mean, like Ski, you've not been rapping for that long. Why are you recycling bars already? However, his verse on Costa Rica was great. It was just a nice, short, punchy verse, and this flow was brilliant on there. As for Denzel, he killed it on both of his tracks. On the song Glacier, he comes with this very aggressive tone of voice, and Denzel is one of the few rappers that I can actually really tolerate shouting from, because when Denzel does it, he sounds angry. He's not pointlessly shouting to give the track some energy that's just not there, 
he sounds pissed off. There is one thing that ruins that song though, and I will talk about that later, so keep that in mind. As for his other contribution, Houston, it was another very nice track. Denzel did a great job with both of his performances on here. And now let's get to one of the most important aspects of this album, and that is the production, of course, all handled by Ronnie J himself. Now, I know what you think. I bet you're thinking that I'm gonna say I didn't like these beats because of the distortion. But no, a lot of these beats actually aren't distorted. On most of these tracks, the bass is just very loud, but it's not overpowering, it doesn't shake the whole beat up, maybe with the exception of the song Snakes. Or most of them, it's not distorted. That's not my issue. Loud bass? A-OK. -okay. Distorted bass? That's a no-no. But, I do still dislike most of the production on here. And let me tell you why. A lot of the beats on here just sound so uninspired. And Ronnie seems to have this basic formula that he follows with a lot of the instrumentals on here. If you listen to songs such as One Time, Fiji Island, or Trauma, you'll start to notice that these songs all have the exact same fundamentals. Not only that, these tracks only have the fundamentals. Here, it goes like this, I'll lay it out for you. A drum pattern, some loud 808s, and a single looped melody. So many of the beats on here just stick to that basic framework, and it makes a lot of the songs boring on here, despite the fact that most of them are under two and a half minutes long. I just feel like he might have played it safe on here. There's, there's nothing innovative about these beats. This is a full project, so it should have some more ambitious beats, but most of the instrumentals on here just sound like what Ronnie J has been putting out. Although saying that, one of the times that he does try to make an instrumental more layered, it gets in the way of the track, ironically, and that is on the track I mentioned earlier, the Denzel Curry song, Glacier. I do not know why in the world he did this, but during Denzel's verse, this incredibly loud piano comes into the song, and it is so loud that it overshadows everything. It overshadows what Denzel is saying, it overshadows his vocals, it overshadows the rest of the beat. Now granted, this piano does only last for about 20 seconds, but it's such an obstruction to the song. Why you would want to ruin one of the best guest performances on your album? I just don't know. Boy, I'm a shooter from a vantage point. Now you can't be destroyed. Ultimately, I will hit the go on. You ain't on what I'm on. It was obviously intentional, like Ronnie knew he was doing it but it was intentionally bad mixing. Now keep in mind, this is not me saying Ronnie J is a bad producer, just that this mixtape really is not his best work. So as you can tell, there were a few aspects of this album that I enjoyed, but there was a lot of stuff that really fell short for me. Ronnie J isn't amazing as a rapper yet, the guest verses were mostly mediocre with some very good performances, and the well-produced tracks were few and far between. There are admittedly a few great tracks on here, it's just not enough to save it for me. I'm gonna give OMG by Ronnie J a 3.8 out of 10. That's right, after I just gave my highest score in an Is It Good video yesterday, I'm giving my lowest score in one today. As you guys know, this is just my opinion, and hopefully Ronnie can come out with something that impresses me soon, because as I've said, I do not think he's a bad producer, and I would like to see him improve as a rapper too. So what do you guys think of this album? Let me know down in the comments below, let me know if you've heard it, what your favourite songs are, and what your overall thoughts are on the album. You guys can follow me on Twitter under the username at CDTV Productions, and I will see you guys all in the next one. This is CDTV Productions, signing out.